morning welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i went to the gym today i was so not into it this morning let me put y'all down hold on give me a second just a little disclaimer y'all before we even start so this morning i went to the gym okay did not want to go to the gym this morning I, I really almost convinced myself not to go my eyes were closed i was in my bed i was like i don't want to go what if i just skip today it's not that bad i can just skip today and you had this other part of me like girl you better get up like it doesn't matter if you don't do like your full 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 workout like you usually do but at least get up and go anyways this morning i had a i had a existential debate <laughs> I had a big debate this morning. So anyways, I went to the gym. When I came home, took a shower, came home, and I was about to get dressed. Y'all, I did not want to meal prep. I was like, I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. So I decided to take a nap to just recenter myself for a second, and I did. Today, it's a special little video because today it's a meal prep reset. I am resetting my meal prep. I've been meal prepping since September 15 of 2023 at first it was doing amazing but now i feel like I, i'm lacking i'm lacking so bad i am going back into my old ways i'm gonna explain to y'all what it is before my birthday everything was cool so november in november i was it was eh, it was all right it was all right but after november i feel like it just started to go down here i've been missing meal prep days not a lot mostly in occasions it has happened end of december beginning of january has been the worst i've been eating pizza i was craving it and i told my mom and she was like we can just buy one and i was like all right so we ate pizza i kind of od in on the pizza not gonna lie <laughs> it lasted for a good weekend and such so um we ate some pizza and then she had some friend over literally like i don't even know a cup like last week she had friends over she ordered pizza again so i i try not to eat it but i i can't yo it was different like it wasn't because the first anyways i'm not even gonna justify the pizza y'all but and i drink some sodas i've been eating fries and stuff so i've been breaking out a little bit i've been feeling so sluggish and there's other things that's been going on as well that i've been feeling really just not my best just in general i don't feel the best best and then you're mixing food wise that i'm not feeling my best best or i'm not doing my best it's a mess and i don't want it to go m more downhill so i need to go back and we need to reset so yeah <laughs> with that being said what i mean by resetting my meal prep so i'm gonna go in the kitchen okay i'm just i like the lighting here it's really cute i started meal prep for a different reasons okay when i started meal prepping i was weighting everything i used measuring cups to portion and i was just on top of my game like i have a um notebook where i write everything down and i haven't written in it in a minute now where i write my calories i count my calories some people don't like to do that personally it helps me <laughs> it helps me because when i promise y'all there's things sometimes that you think it's not that bad my deluxe salad you look at my deluxe salad and you're like, oh, it's not that bad. I promise you, my deluxe salad is a 600 calories. It's 600 calories and I'm not even eating it that much. Before, I used to eat double of what, what I usually eat now of my salad. Because I'm like, it's, it's a salad. There's not too, too many stuff in there. And it's like nuts, uh, a little bit of cheese, some avocado. And when you add those calories up, and I saw that I could easily go to a thousand calories... I was like oh wow so I really understand like counting your calories for a moment some people do it some people don't it's your preference don't kill yourself doing it I enjoy doing it I don't like count to the like to the calorie like sometimes I kind of round it up and stuff but I have a rough idea of it's in that area so yeah so that's what we're doing today ah, let's go in the kitchen let's go in the kitchen and uh, start this cooking meal prep video I deadass left the groceries in the car. Yeah, I was so tired. I left the groceries in the car. And honestly, I can. Because it's minus 4 degrees outside. <laughs> it's minus 4 degrees. So, my groceries are not getting spoiled. Nothing. They're in the cold. Okay, it's like if they were in the, the fridge. Same thing. Okay, y'all. Uh, let me show y'all what we got. Okay? So, we got some khakis for snack. This, this is a fruit. We have some pomegranates that I got. 
So this, I usually use this in the morning or for snacks, so that would be really, really good. Bag number one. I know the name in French, not in English. In French, if I do the, like, translation. <laughs> Let me put y'all further. Okay, in French, if I do the translation, it's earth cherries. Anywho, but we got this for snack. It's delicious. Expensive, but delicious. Avocados for my meal. Oh, lychee. I haven't had lychee in a moment. Um, usually, if I get lychees, I get them at the Asian store. But I just saw them and I was like, why not? They were expensive though. But lychee, snack, like dessert type vibe. Yeah. This is for my sushi bake. This is for the luck salad. The luck salad. This is sea bacon and se bacon Caesar dressing. Bananas for my morning shakes for when I go to the gym. Um, cheese. Oop. Lettuce. Peanut butter for my shakes in the morning. Stacy's pita chips for my salads. This is cereal, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cucumber, this is for my snack. This is for my snack. Juicing and for my snack. Snacks and breakfast. Snack breakfast, papaya. That's, that's cantaloupe. Snack breakfast. I never tried this. I really want to try it. I want to see. And it was on sale. So I was like, hmm. It's a can canary melon. From It's from Brazil. So anywho, I want to try this. And I bought another, can another cantaloupe. So yeah. So yeah, y'all, so that's about all the stuff that I bought for, ooh, that would be a good time now, wouldn't it be? Okay, y'all, so that's basically all I bought for my meal prep of the week and some that will stay on for maybe the week after. But anywho, right now it's currently 1.48 p.m. and I have not ate, like I told y'all, I woke up um, at like 12.55 that's when I looked at my phone and saw the time. So it was 12.55 when I woke up. I woke up an hour ago? Wow, I woke up an hour ago. Time flies. I woke up an hour ago. I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch. Just a little something light, you know, because I'm starting to feel hungry now. So I'm gonna eat some lunch and I will come back to meal prep. At the same time, put these stuff away and then I'll come back when it's time for us to meal prep. So yeah. Okay, y'all, so I am about to start. So I have my notebook that I usually use. Um, I'll do a first prepare sheet before even starting to write down everything properly. So I have four meals that I want to do today. Yeah, so I kind of want to do like some type of like sausage fajita. So I'm gonna write that. Sausage. So I'll probably do two. For these type of tortillas, for two, one tortilla equals 60 calories. So, so one is two tortillas. Uh, how many calories? 120 calories. Perfect. The sausages. So there are farmer sausages. These are the kind that I'm going to use today. And 280. 280 per 100 gram. Let's see how much is this. Because this is for sure more than 100. But let's see how much it is. So. Oh, so this is perfect. For the two sausages, it's 288, 288 
it's a little too much but not too too much because the other one is already four that one is two actually i think it'll be fine i'll do four four portions so we'll do four portions of the sausage fajita actually for two sausages i'll probably like do two bell peppers because i'm thinking three but i feel like three might be too much actually no three should be just fine okay so for 100 usually the with doing when i count my calories to be honest it's kind of a little bit hard sometimes sometimes i do it before sometimes i do it after so basically what i'm trying to explain here is when it comes to mixtures like if i have a mixture to make of different ingredients then i have to portion them weigh them before most of the time to get a, a calorie for the mixture because you know when it's like simple ingredients like let's say rice you know that in one fourth of rice one fourth cup of a rice there's like i don't know 120 calories but if you mix rice beans and it comes in one mixture then it's not 160 calories you know it's more because you have beans and stuff so when i have to do that when i have mixtures like tuna salads or fajita mixture or whatever when i have mixtures i count the calories before after i go ahead um and portion them yeah so i hope that made sense y'all if it doesn't just tell me and i try to rephrase it this is gonna be a really easy recipe i'm gonna just go ahead and um have some bell peppers in there sausages onions and i'm gonna add when i put it together some mayonnaise and probably a little bit of cheese and just eat it like that but yeah so now that i'm done with that what i'm gonna go ahead and do is cut everything so how much is an onion then this one 31 230 231 grams. Wash your fruits and veggies. Seriously. Wash your fruits and veggies. Y'all, people be out here like me because I need to see what I need. Touching things and stuff. And that doesn't count the people that be like <coughs> or be touching the floor touching their dirty ass car doors I, I don't know moving snot out of their noses and after going ahead and touch stuff and you go and you're out here eating stuff unwashed like please wash your fruits and veggies i don't care if it was in a box i don't care if it's it was in a container i do not care wash your fruits and veggies okay because you don't know how many hands touched it before it was in a container like or it was in plastic bags or whatever so please wash your fruits and veggies please you guys saw I have like all the grams of everything so I decided to cuz I could just take everything that I took and just separate it into four um, and it should be the quantity that I'm supposed to be eating cuz I measured everything before but I'm gonna try to see if it adds up so I measured all the grams of everything at, at first when I showed you so I added this all up and divided it by four and it tells me that basically one portion should be 300 and 
basically 30 grams so it's 327.75 grams but yeah so I'm gonna try to do that and to see if it adds up to four equal portions like I planned here such a little gem Bitches wanna be around me But I do not fuck with them All the diamonds want me put it I hope nobody gets fucked If I pull out this Ferrari Then my shooter's in the truck I guess they go to my hood They know my body is good Two million dollars to party And start of your clubs Popping up things to go up It's smoking Los Angeles bud So there you have the like Like I told y'all like The type of like Fajita Um Sausage Fajita thingy so this is like the mixture that goes inside. So this is for two fajitas. Um, I told you it was supposed to be 300 and something grams. But apparently that's like in each is like 195 grams. So yeah. So <laughs> anyways, I am going to heat up the fajitas because I'm wa I want them kind of like crispy I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the stove fry them up and after that, I'm gonna bag them so I'm gonna keep all the goodiness of the um, sausage the onions all of that inside the pan and I'm just gonna go ahead and fry over it the, um, the fajitas so the fajitas can have taste so yeah I gotta testify come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day I die I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock. Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors closed. I felt like bad boy street team. I couldn't work the locks. Now let's go. Take them back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped in that U-Haul van. Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them. Plus, I ain't had no phone in my apartment. Let's take them back to the club. At least about an hour I stand online. I just wanted to dance. I went to take up an hour after I got my advance. I just wanted to shine. J favorite line, dog, in due time. Now they look at me like, damn, dog, you what I am. A hip hop legend. I think I died in an accident. Cause this must be heaven. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. Yeah, yeah. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Now let's take them high. Ah, 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 la, 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 la. Top of the world, baby. Uh. Top of the world. Now let's take them high. Ah, 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 la, 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 Back in Gucci was the shit to rock. Back when Slick Rick got the shit to pop. I do anything to say I got it. Damn, them new loafers hurt my pocket. Before anybody wanted K West beats, me and my girl split the buffet at KFC. Dog, I was having nervous breakdowns. Like, man, these niggas that much better than me, baby. I'm going on an airplane, and I don't know if I'll be back again. Sure enough, I sent the plane tickets, but when she came to kick it, things became different. Any girl I cheated on, she just skidded on. Couldn't keep it at home, thought I needed a knee along. I'm trying to write my wrongs, but it's funny them saying wrongs. Help me write the song now. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day you die. You gon' touch the sky, you gon' touch the sky, baby girl, testify. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. For the day you die, you gon' touch the sky. Yes, 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 guess who's on third? Loop they still like loop in the third. Here like here till I'm bitter on the curb. Peach fuzz buzz, but bit on the verge. Let's slow it down like we're on the surf. Alrighty, so I just finished calculating everything for the sushi bake. Um, so basically the sushi bake which includes one fourth of an avocado and one sheet of seaweed, this brand particularly, would be 500, 500, well I have two estimates because I look for one fourth of an avocado at first and it says it's 80 calories and then I look for a whole avocado, medium. And then it was like 240 and I divided it by 4 and it gave me 60. So I don't know. So I did two estimates. So it's around for the whole thing, for the whole sushi bacon and everything, um, including, like I said, for one portion, it's 546 calories or 566 calories. So usually I aim 
to be between the 300 and the 400. Um, so now I'm in the 500, which is the correct size for a male because usually when I looked online, when I did my little research, it says lunch and dinner should be around 500 and 700 calories. Is it 500 and 700? Hold on, because I wrote it down. Uh, yeah, it's between 500 for lunch and dinner, 500 to 700 calories. So even though I'm higher than what I usually like, which is three to 400, I'm still in a good range of like the wheel of food stuff. Yeah. So anywho, so that is for my second meal, and now I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest of my meals. So yeah. But I'm not mine when I'm laying on the beach On guard, a touche, lupe, cool as the undar But I still feel possessed as a gun charge To come as correct as a pawn star And a fresh pair of steps in my best foreign car So, I represent the first Now let me in my verse right where the horns are Like, uh, I gotta testify Come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day you die You gon' trust the sky You gon' trust the sky, baby girl Testify Come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day you die You gon' touch the sky We take it home Sky high I'm, I'm sky high I'm, I'm sky high I'm, I'm sky high I'm, I'm sky high. You got that deep for me Pray love is deep for me I might make you go weak for me Make you wait a whole week for me I see you watching it, I know you want it Scream it I know you need it Drug it all You want it all You don't I know you need love Okay, uh, so I just finished the meal preps, like the meal portion of the meal prep. I'm gonna do my snacks, but I wanted to show you guys basically what is, um, what are my meals. So, <clears throat> so here we have, I showed you this this morning. This is the fajitas, heated, um, like, cooked, whatever. So I have four to go with each meal this is my mixture so the sausages with onions and bell peppers yep and here we have the sushi bake this is my sushi bake when I'm gonna eat it I'm gonna add um, some avocado on top and also I am going to I am going to um, eat it with some seaweed sheets um, here it looks a little crispy um, it's not burnt. It's just really really crispy <laughs> But this is um, some chi a chicken thigh honey mustard uh, flavored with some cheesy broccoli and some brown rice um, And here we have for my deluxe salad. So some chicken some um, I don't know how you call that like the deluxe mixture a bunch of seeds and stuff and Almonds or whatever stuff like that raisins and some cheese that I'm gonna eat with a salad some dressing and some pita crisps so uh, pita chips sorry so yeah so these are my meal for this week so this is what it's looking like yeah. all right so like I said I'm done with this so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my cucumbers cut up my cantaloupe papaya all of that, put that in some bowls for my snacks. So yeah, let's do this. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. Ugliness and the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. 
grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain he brought you still lingering in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way Bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. The green is better, life that's better than yours. No such thing as life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better, life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such For what's money? Okay, yeah, so this is my snacks. Hold on, let me just fix the lighting a bit so it's clear for y'all. Okay, so these are my snacks. So here we have cantaloupes, their portion and everything. It's about 100 gram each, kind of semi but yeah so these are a little bit of cantaloupes here i have some cucumber and i'm gonna eat with some hummus so i'm gonna be eating the cucumber with this and here we have some lychee and ground cherries delicious here i have a little bit of carrots left from something else that i was doing so probably gonna eat that too here we got some canary 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 cantaloupes first time trying it it's really really good i really like it so we got some of that and here i have some papayas so this is three portions and this is also three portions so yeah so these are my snacks for this week um well we are the next day good morning <laughs> it's currently 9 45. today what i have to do is i wanted to do the bars that um i did last time I showed it in one of my meal preps. It's like those kind of like granola-ish type bar. Let me show you a picture. Like this. Those bars right here, they are delicious. So that's what I'm doing today. And also I'm going to be juicing a tiny bit, just a little bit. Um, I am going to do only carrots because usually I do like celery and stuff with pineapples this time I'll only do like carrots with apples and some ginger and stuff like that so yeah so let's get to it <laughs> To cut it into 12 pieces the recipe said to cut it into 12 pieces so I decided to do 12 pieces and then on the second row I cut it in half so <clears throat> so now I have 18 pieces and the ones that are cut in half basically it's like what 110 calories I think and those will be snacks so the long ones the ones that are regular size 
will be for breakfast and the one that are cut in half are for snacks so yeah now i'm just gonna go ahead and package them to put them in a oh, bag leave me here i'll fuck myself see me in the mirror i duck myself don't need much i'll fuck my world tell me what you say now tell me what you say you said that you would come again you said that we would and there we go y'all so these are oops these are like the breakfast bars package them into like saran wrap and these are the little snacks so yeah so i finished everything for my meal prep today so i am officially done in the kitchen <laughs> officially done for the week i am super excited for my reset i just ate well not just like a couple probably like 30 minutes ago i ate a snack so it's currently 11 24 so i'm gonna be eating lunch soon in probably one hour and i feel great i feel a little tired not gonna lie but i think it's related to something else but anyways anywho i'm just gonna go I will see you on the next video, which is coming pretty soon. Bye, y'all!